Okay, so let's put in the bottom turret. Now, here's the thing, the bottom turret, right? Because it's never going to be able to shoot more than, you know, horizontally in comparison to, like, the planet, it's not going to be able to get height to be able to really go a long distance. So actually, it's going to be a fairly close-range cannon. I mean, in comparison to some of the others, it's, it's just not going to be able to get that arcing shot that allows it to come down. So either it has to be a very speedy bullet that can just be like, bang, and doesn't need to arc, it can go in a straight line, or it has to be a ridiculously close-range cannon and just be like, oh, screw it, it's going to fight people directly below us. And I don't know what to do. Also, someone mentioned uh, on one of the blimp videos having like a tail gun just to shoot down fighters who are trailing us, or just because it looks awesome. I actually really like the idea. I like the idea of having a tail gun. Even if it's just a little tail gun here on an AA mount that just can shoot behind us. I mean, actually, on an AA mount, it would suck uh, because it would be able to shoot down. It doesn't need to shoot down if it's shooting like fighters and stuff. But yeah, like a, a, maybe a 3x3 three three mount like this and then double barreled and have like a little trailing gun just because we can. I like the idea. Mainly for looks, really. Uh, I've also completed some other things. I think maybe we'll have a few guns on top, just in case they do tend to have uh, flying things that are higher than us, but they'll be low caliber. Um, and a few other similar things like that. I mean, the ones on the side will be able to shoot up, so there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the feel of this. So let's put in our turret down below. Now, do we want to put it at the back? Do we want it at the front? Um, if we're going to have side turrets, and if we have, like, two side turrets... If we have two side turrets, we want to put the middle turret basically in the middle, so that they don't interfere. So, middle turret will want to be about, like, dead center. There is no dead center because it's an even number of blocks, which is annoying. Uh, alright. Right, two meter. Three meter, so two meter. So we want this length. And then what if we went uh, base bleed, um, HE, 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 um, frag, frag, AP capped, no, composite. That's acceptable. Yeah, we can run that. A much shorter barrel as well. I actually like the idea of a shorter barrel. Although the longer barrel would add to accuracy, so. The muzzle velocity isn't great. Seven hundred and seven with an eight meter radius and six forty six fragments. Yeah, okay. I mean, the alternative is we can use um, flak here. Much bigger radius, but a lot lower damage. Uh, I think we'll go HE. Especially the way that the arm is now calculated. Yeah, and with a fast firing rate, that should be absolutely fine. Right, Frag, I want you at a... Co wow, a cone angle of 60? Really? Let's try a cone angle of, like, 5. And then a cone angle of... Like... Well, maybe 10, because this is when it hits the hull. And then a cone angle of 30. Mm, okay, that should work. Now, I could get rid of the base bleeder. Like, base bleeder here, and then HE here. Not quite. I want to get 300. So if I just put a gunpowder in, 300. As much as I don't like missing out on the base bleeder, especially because it's an arm pierced down, the base bleeder is kind of eh. No, oh, screw it. We'll have the base bleeder. No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't have it. It wouldn't help. We're hitting low targets. We're hitting slow targets. Yeah, okay. We'll run with this.
and I fell off. That's not the point. The point is, this gun is livable. The problem is, I'm only using the term livable. I wanted to use a bit of a better term. I was hoping for something that fast fired. I mean, maybe I'm asking too much from it. Let's put it on a one second. And then let's actually staple a chair down because I'm tired of falling off. You know what? Let's just put a firing computer at the front. Screw it. I'll just control the guns from the front like I'm meant to. Hup. And then I would like to build a control fire control computer. And on the other side, we might as well have a vehicle controller. Maybe I should like sink them into the floor. Should probably sink them into the floor. Make it look better. But we'll leave them there for now. That's not the point. Okay, reload. Reload. I'm going to see if we've reloaded. I'm not certain. There we, there we go. Ready? rounds. Little gap there. Okay, I think that's acceptable. Now, it's not exactly, you know, once every one second. It's about, if we if we added, like, a little bit, maybe 1.1, it would work. But I'm okay with that tiny little gap there. Now, uh, I don't want to be controlling the gun. I would, in fact, like to be putting uh, recoil mitigation on because, my God, we're going to need it. You saw what was happening, and we were docked. Like, the dock is holding us, and it, we were still, like, kicking around. So we need hydraulic recoil absorber, 4 meter. Did it tell you the stats on them? Uh, 0.95 to the power of meters of hydraulic. So just as many meters of hydraulic as possible, really. Okay. I'd say it's, you know, not bad. I could probably get more on if I started pushing them out rather than just along the length of it. Let's try firing it. Let's see what happens, right? Because that's that's the proof of the pudding, right? Now we are held in place by a docking beam. Rock steady. And we can always alter this if we need to, but it is held in place by a docking beam, but it is rock steady. So... I would like block, metal block. Now, that's done. And it should be able to do a fair amount of damage. I mean, it's also pretty long-ranged. Because it's so fast to shell. Uh, if we're up 300 meters, we should be able to hit most things. Now, on the side, two turrets. Possibly a broadside in addition. That's something we'll have to think about.
but yeah, two turrets, and they'll be punching out here and here. Max front, max back. Or maybe one in. Let's check. No, it has to be here. It could be one in from the front. And then not one in from the back. Because if we punch the turret in here, we haven't got a lot of space to play with. Uh, we'll, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Right. So I would like to control the craft. I would then like to put in a mirror line. There we go. I still like the, the ammo on the front. It's some sort of ammo fringe. The ammo quaff. The ammo mullet. That's what we're going to call it. The ammo mullet. Not mullet. Mullet. Slightly different. Okay, so that's our window in the front. And if we then put the turret... Uh, probably want it here. It means it'll be here. So... I would like to pick up your best piece of metal. Right. In terms of the ammo for this, I'm thinking we make it a... Uh, what's it called? Uh, belt fed. Because belt feds are amazing. Have you seen how amazing they are? They're amazing. They're just... I still love belt feds. I mean, making that thing that wasn't belt fed just makes me wish for belt feds again. So I would like advanced cannon, ammo controller... I'm a customizer. One, two, three, four. How large can I make you? And still have your one meter. I'm guessing 100... 120? Okay. It's about 130-ish. Yeah, you could be 130 millimeter. That's not crappy by any means. That's you know, still reasonable. So, what if we just went, um, H-E, 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 capped head. Composite head, why not? And short need two. That was a 20. And short need two, one. Right, so where is the difference? Yeah, there we go. 125 millimeter. This would still cause a reasonable amount of damage. And we can get it crazy fast firing. And the expected muzzle velocity is acceptable. If we put a base bleeder on. And if we put a base bleeder on here and then put HE. No, no, it has to be gunpowder here. And if we put two gunpowder? Yeah, that's probably better. Okay. So we're looking for 125 mil, which means actually we can make it a 400 mil cannon and then have four barrels, which makes it even more crazy fast firing. Okay, how fast do you fire now? It's 
so fast you can't keep up, which is absolutely fine. Right, let's... Okay. Oh, there is a slight gap, which is fixed if I just raise that to there. Done. That, that cannon is good. Insane, but good. Insanely good. I'm going to quickly save the vessel because I'm scared that I might screw up. Um, are we controlling the turret? Yes, right. I would like to save sub-object as uh, turret one axis, and I will save you as... Oh, delete. Then I would like to save you as... Uh, blimp side turret cancel new object sub object then if I go to here I can load sub object blimp side turret Hey! And down here. Ah, oh, I haven't put the beam in yet. Oh, yeah! Oh, right. So I've been having to think. And I'm thinking... Broadside would be funny. Torpedoes would be cool. Missiles would be... Well, we need a few. I mean, mainly to just hit, like, fast fight craft or something. Uh, then we need an anti-laser system. Well, an anti-missile laser system. And maybe some fast firing, like, really light caliber tiny little guns. Just on top somewhere. So I'm thinking we put the broadside capability in here. And we put the missiles in here. And then we can put our drop torpedoes in... Here, and we just drop them straight down, right? Because if we give them a one turn, they should be fine to find their way back up. So let's punch a hole. This will mean that there will be eight on each side, so there'll be 16 drop torpedoes. I don't mind spamming torpedoes as much uh, as missiles because torpedoes, they just slow to hit the target and everything. Like, they're not, they're not great. Um, I mean, you know, they look great and they do all the cool stuff, but in actuality, they, they're just not... Like there are there are better things. I think that's the story of torpedoes' life. Torpedoes are very left out. Now that will be sixteen of them. I think let's be fair. We're gonna drop it to twelve, just because I didn't want to really spam missiles, and also because they can have a massive strain on the ammo stockpile. Like missiles, you use a lot of ammo compared to like the advanced cannon systems. They use a lot of ammo, so. So I'm a bit sniffly today. Got one of these little cold that just won't go away. Uh, Alright, let's also put in cladding around the air itself because it's already made of metal, so why not? And that is in the wrong place. Right, and then doop doop. And doop doop. Right. So, how long do we want the torpedoes to be? Probably about six blocks. So that's one already. Two, three, four, five, six. So drop things here. We could make them longer. Yeah, that's the longest we could go. Yeah, so let's do it here. Right. So I would like missile torpedo, launch pad, like that. Okay. And then I would like my ejectors, because I will want ejectors on these. Now, ejectors aren't completely necessary because they will fall under gravity, which is fine. 
but these will help them, like, I tend to find ejectors help them find the direction they want to travel, because with one turn they've got to turn in a certain direction. The ejector will help them traveling into the water. Um, uh, now, this is the point that's going to be annoying. To do this, I have to get a missile controller and place it like that. So let's get a six-way, 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 missile controller, then delete the six-ways because for some reason you need to have one underneath. Uh, but these ones at the back aren't connected. To do that, I have to do this, which is annoying because it looks weird. I mean, I could punch through the, the steel beam, but I, I don't want to risk it. I, I like the idea of the steel beams being integral to the hull. Uh, also, you should fire at an angle of 90 degrees. Right. I mean, I will be able to just build up the AI and stuff here, so it's not completely unfair. And that will be able to turn, I believe. Probably. Uh, we should test it. Okay, where am I? I am here. Let me get in the attack blimp. Oh, oh, hello. This bit might be a problem. Nope, that is fine. Right, and that's our that's our biggest worry. Okay, we're cool. Right, uh, back to building mode. By the way, if you can hear some like weird like hammering next door, I mean weird hammering because you know, it's actually just hammering. That would be someone doing DOI, and I hope it can't come through on the the recording, but it might do. In which case, I uh, apologise. Um, also, I'm desperately trying not to sneeze at the moment. I think I'm fighting a losing battle. Do want these facing outwards? Yes. There we go. I would like fins, fins, fins. Then I would like torpedo propeller, torpedo propeller, torpedo propeller. Fuel. Fuel. That's probably too many, because I'm not going to have a warhead room now. Okay, uh, we'll do three torpedo propellers. Only three, which is eh, fine. And then we'll probably want to do sonar. Ballast tank. Oh, did I get rid of the fuel? Yeah, I did. Well, you need fuel on a missile, otherwise it kind of won't go anywhere. Right. Um, so we've got ballast tank, which is set to buoyancy zero, which means it can go up and down, it doesn't matter. Um, do I want predictive guidance? Sure. Where's my predictive guidance? I don't want APN, I want... And I want a one turn. So we're gonna get five explosive, uh, three explosive. I think what we do is have to drop a fin out of here. But I want them on a one turn. Ah, oh, I'll leave it as it is for a moment. And then I would like... Frag, 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 frag. Explosive. Frag, frag, there we go. A nice tight cone to like drill into the ship. Now these would I probably would go with EMP on these against someone like the Onyx Watch, but again, we're fighting Dawn Deepwater Guard and they are mostly made of wood, so I'm not gonna even bother. Uh, what I will do is probably make another frag. Yeah. This one can be an angle of about twenty. Oh no. Good propeller. Yeah, we're good. 
Now, we will need to add some fancy things. I would like Staggered Fire add-on. And Identify Friend or Foe. Because I don't really want them shooting my own ships. And a delay of 0.2. So, we have 12. They should fire with a course of 2.4 seconds. Okay. They look good. Yeah, they look good. No mines. We're not putting mines on any ships. I remember what happened last time with the Vendance. It got killed by its own mines. Yeah, we're not doing mines anymore. No. Mines bad. Okay, right. Let's put in some missile systems. And... Then we can do the side cannons. So... We'll put the missiles in here, but that would mean... That would mean this 4x4 four four sec... Uh, 4x... Oh, whatever. The 4 slope would be a mess to clean up. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to rip out little sections of here instead. Ejector add-on. Stagger fryer. Friend fryer. Words. Words. Words are failing me again. Now these probably designed to shoot down flying things. But they will also be able to do a little bit of damage against uh, things on the ground. So I would like you to shoot at 90 degrees. Maybe not quite 90. Maybe 80. So they won't shoot directly in front, not directly behind, directly below, or directly above, but almost. What do you have already? You have an infrared seeker. Okay. Short range thruster. Yeah. Two fuel tanks, two fins, predictive guidance, one turn. Ah, uh, you see, I wanted a camera. And that's where we're going wrong. Maybe I should make them one longer. Fin, fin, camera, fuel tank, fuel tank, predictive target guidance, one turn, thruster, explosive, thrag, explosive, infrared. Nothing else I want, right? Single pixel IR seeker. I, yeah, it can't work with the camera add on. I mean, it's pretty cool, actually, because it goes really fast, because it's got such a uh, low drag. Oh, it's actually tempting to switch that out and not do a camera. It would be better against fighters and stuff. Ah, uh, well, I've got to, uh, and I have to copy this across, so I would like to save uh, as temp. Then I would like to load, temp, edit, assign. And then in the rear here, a very similar setup is needed. One, two, three, four, five, six, that'll do. And for the sake of consistency, bam. Then, this is where it gets interesting because I need to take a laser designator out to the side. that. Then I would like a missile controller. A launch pad. Ejector add-on. Staggered fire. Identify friend or foe. I'm going to put the identify friend or foe in mainly because it's not needed, but if I switch the missile type later on, I might forget. And it's a pretty low cost. I could make these lure. 
But like I said, I'm trying to avoid lure where I can. Honestly, they would be so much better lure because they just look better. And I would be able to have four of them on each side and I wouldn't need to break it with this. But... Oh well. Uh, I would like to fire at anything with an angle of a bit more strict on you because these are going to be fast. Alright, so I would like... Fin, fin, fin. The nose is going to have to be a... Fuel tank. Laser beam rider. And thumper head. Should still get some pretty good range on that. Okay. Save it. Load it. Edit. Assign it. And I need to set you to... 60. Set you to 80. I mean, apart from the, the annoying laser, I'd like the look of it. Now, broadside capability. Something that's just going to be silly. Eh. I like it. Right, so do I put the broadside capability here? Or here? I probably want to put it here. If we're completely honest. Okay. So, how much do we want? Do we want the AAA mantlets? No, I think what we want is a pretty normal mantlet. So, I can't put it here because this is a, I can't remember what you call it, but it's a thing. And that's what's important. Like, retaining section? I don't know. And if we're going to cut through that in multiple places, we're going to need to reinforce this. Okay, right. Um, metal block, just temporarily. Okay, right. So, that, bits of cannon, space, bits of cannon... Although we could swing them no. Bits of cannon, space, bits of cannon. Space uh, bits of cannon, space, bits of cannon. So basically we're leaving three in between. And then this would be another retaining. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I might as well just get rid of this entire line. This rate. We'll think about rearming that in a minute. And that gives us six on each side for a broadside capability, which is going to look ridiculous. Amazing. But also ridiculous. Right, so it'll be something like mantlet here. Cannon here. So let's armor this up. And then... Advanced cannon, advanced firing piece. I mean, actually, I could use a triple A mount. Which would be funny. But it, would, it wouldn't have the sideways. So, yeah, let's ignore that. Um... What's this got for between... 10 and 30 degrees. So for the cannon gauge, I don't want a particularly large gauge at all. Like, what's this gauge? 120 millimeter. That is fine. That is fine, right. We should probably design the shell we're going to have, but I have no idea what we're going to use for uh, shell length. Um, you know what we could do? 
We could put the ammo input feeders just on the side of the cannon, which is a trick I've been wanting to do for a little while. Because they do work. I can't really do that one. It's And it takes up so little room. That said, belt fed auto loader would also be hilarious here. Because we could just plonk a belt fed auto loader here, here, or here, or whatever. But this is so tiny, it's almost worth it. Yeah, I'm really tempted to just go the tiny one. Let's design the shell. So I would like uh, ammo controller. Right, if you were 120 mil. 120. Seriously? There we go. It just keeps changing the number. Um, gauge increases required, too. What? Shell diameter, 120 millimeter. One gauge increase. Uh, someone is telling porkies. Oh well, length of shot needed, two meters. Okay. So let's go with a It probably needs to be a shape charge or something, because I'm not, I'm not feeling a plain HE with this small around. So let's go shape charge. Uh, I cannot pick shape charge because I'm not on the head. There we go. Shape charge head, and then I just like HE. Right, what have we got? Velocity of pretty good. Barrel length is optimal to be really long. So let's change this and have a base bleeder here. And then a HE here. That's acceptable. 200 meters per second, that's fine. Reasonable, reasonable, reasonable. Sure. Right, let's see how fast this thing can fire. So I want to select. Cooling down. So four seconds at the moment, but it could actually be improved a lot. Right. Interesting to know. Advanced cannon, gauge increase, left right splitter. Cooling unit. What's your, what's your recoil? This is 15,000 recoil. That recoil is actually more than any of my main guns right now. So you're probably going to have to have some sort of recoil compensation, which I find hilarious. Um, sure, why not a four meter? Still crazy weak off us. Yep, still crazy weak off us. Um, I guess we'll have to just live with it. We'll see how it works in flight and stuff, you know, we might be able to change it later, but whatever. Right, let's try it again. Set this one up. Whoops. You know what? We'll go with it. I don't need to make it fancy, just needs to do its job.
Endpoint selection, because might as well, and target prioritization, because might as well. The target prioritization I definitely want. The endpoint selection is uh, less important. And that means that all of those are linked up to the same thing, so they're all fair at the same target, which means they won't shoot each other. I am digging this. Okay. I think we're in a pretty good position with this puppy. Why do I have a hole here? Oh, because I made the hole and I never used it. Really? I never bothered to... <sighs> Lazy. Right. Torpedoes. Missiles. Broadsides. Turrets. Turret. Main front gun. I don't think we need anything else in terms of weaponry. Like, I was talking about having some light cannons on it that could just track anything, but... I don't think they're necessary. Anti-missile stuff. Yes. I would say some smoke deployers, but we're not fighting anyone with lasers. Maybe we should just plan for the future, though. Smoke deployers. Eh, maybe. Um... Engines. Now, of course, we've got plenty of space where you can put different engines, so especially at the back here. I'm going to keep this back a bit for a couple, maybe a bit more than a couple of engines. And of course, we don't know what we're doing with these puppies yet. We also need fuel and ammo stores. It's going to get a little bit cramped in here. It used to look so large and plentiful and inviting. Oh, maybe we'll have the engines at the front. I don't know. I mean, what we're we doing at the moment in terms of center mass. Center mass is too far forwards by quite a margin. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Anti-missile system. That's what we're going to have to do next. 